2024 to 2025 Teacher of the Year is one of us. Mr. Brian Thompson. So I asked him to actually bring those words of inspiration for us. So let's welcome Brian. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Carl and, and Greg, for giving me this opportunity. Um, so when I was first selected as named as Teacher of the Year at the ceremony last year, I had a couple, bunch of th things go through my, my mind, and my first thought was, well, I think they read the wrong name. Um, and then I see my picture on the banner that's now hanging on the Board of Ed. I'm like, no, I guess they're right. And the second thought that came to my mind was, I'm a visual and performing arts teacher, and I'm representing this team in this room. And that was more important to me than anything. We all know how important we are in our, in our own schools. Matter of fact, I'm completely blessed to have my former principal, Whitney Warner, who's now at Ebb Valley, here to see us today. And she was super supportive, and she understood the power of arts in our school at Westminster Elementary during her 10 years there. Um, and I hope as I move forward through the next year, uh, traveling around the state, doing a whole bunch of events, I get to represent this entire room. Because what we do is important as, as what we do is important as visual and performing arts teachers. We have a very important place in our school. I think what you all do is amazing. I get to see hear performances from our music programs. I can see artwork all around the community in the Board of Ed building, wherever I go, and it's really, really awesome. So when I was selected as Teacher of the Year, I assume okay, it's 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 to recognize excellence in teaching, and I have to be I have to show some humility because that was not always the case. Mike Hirsch, where are you at? We have a legend in the room here. Mike Hirsch, who has come out of retirement for four, uh, after four years of being home retired, he was my middle school band director. Mike Hirsch, would you like to tell the room, back in my, I believe it was my second quarter, eighth grade year when you were my middle school director, what grade did I earn on my report card? That's right, I got a C in eighth grade band. Oh, that's why, exactly. So... And, and I worked hard for that. I, 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 I was as lazy as I could be. I did absolutely nothing. Now, to clear, the, to clear the air here, I did get an A the next two quarters, so I wasn't, com I wasn't completely, you know, in the dark. But yeah, that, was, that was a good message to me. And, and, and going into my first year teaching, um, my goal was to be the best teacher around. I wanted to be the best music teacher anyone could find. And then I had my first observation. And I didn't know you could have the prefix UN in front of the word satisfactory so many times on one piece of paper. Um, and I realized, oh, this is, this, is, this is not what we're supposed to be doing. And here I am 20 years later. This is my 20th, 20th year here in Carroll County this year. And I've learned a lot. I've developed a lot. And a lot of that is through self-reflection. Now, as I said, my goal as a first-year teacher was to be the best teacher around. Well, when you're focused on being the best, what are you focused on? Yourself, but who else? Others. That's too much energy. Being the best, that's, you're focused on not the right things. Um, I had the opportunity to spend six years with the Reading Buccaneers Drum and Bugle Corps. We're a competitive uh, all-age drum corps. For those of you that don't know the activity, um, essentially professional marching band. And we were essentially the Kansas City Chiefs of all-age corps. We would show up and we would win a lot. Um, but we never focus on being the best. A matter of fact, in their 2017 show, they had a sound clip with this quote. We are in competition with no one. We have no desire to play the game of being better than anyone. We are simply trying to be better than we were yesterday. And I turned that into a two-word slogan I used for my instrumental music program at West Michelle Elementary. And it's simply this. Be great. Because when you're focused on being great, you're focused on yourself. You're focused on your self-development, your self-improvement, your self-growth. And as a, as a young teacher, when I learned this several years into my career and going to through today, that's been my guide, and that's been my student's guide. And I want to reflect back to the, sec to the last part of that quote. Once I pull it back up. We are simply trying to be better than we were yesterday. I want to share with you one goal I want everyone in this room to have for themselves for the next 180 days of school. I said this to the new teachers at New Teacher Orientation. Be better than you were yesterday. That's the way I approach every day. Think about it. If you go into school and you're better tomorrow than you are today, you've already made progress. You go into school Friday and you're better than you were Thursday. You've made progress. And maybe a simple thing. Maybe something as like showing up on time or not coming in to shovel or remember your coffee. 
or something a little more deep like Barbara didn't get the concept I was trying to teach yesterday. I want to get through to her tomorrow. How can I make that better? And that's a goal you can set for yourself very easily every single day. Because by June, that's a lot of, lots, a lot of today's to be better than a lot of yesterday's. And will you be great by that point? Maybe, maybe not. Great's a hard thing to achieve, but guess what? The journey is the, the journey or your daily goals. I want everyone to do something right now. This is the audience participation part of this. Everyone take out your phones. I know, some of you are like, oh, we got to do something. If I were sitting there, I'd be saying the same thing too, but I've got the microphone. <laughs> take, uh, open up your camera and set it to the selfie mode. Uh, Brad Collins, do you know how to do this? Are you good with this? Okay, just making sure. <laughs> just making sure. But you got Brad and Brian Fraser and Mike Hirsch. Oh, geez. Sattler, Waldorf, and then some. Uh, and I want you to take a selfie of yourself. Smile, make a face, make, stick a tongue out. I don't care. Just take a selfie of yourself. I'm going to do it myself here. I know so, some of you older than me are trying to figure out what the selfie thing is. I get it. All right. Any, anyone under the age of 30 is like, what's taking everyone so long to take a selfie? I've, I've taken 15 by now. Now, here's what I want you to do with a selfie. On June, wherever the last day of school is, June 10th, June 11th, June 13th, thank you. I want you to look back at the selfie and think about the 180 ways, the 180 todays you've been better than the 180 yesterdays. And ask yourself, what would this person in this selfie think of the person that's staring at it right now? Think about it. My Outlook account, I have two accounts. I have my CCPS account and my SU account, my Stevenson University account. My Stevenson account has a picture from last October when I had my ID redone. My CCPS account has my ID badge from 2010. And when I first saw that, when they updated my Stevenson picture, I thought, Wow, what would that 2023, I'm sorry, what would that 2010 me think of that 2023 me? I hope they say, you did all right. It is an honor to be in front of you as Carroll County Teacher of the Year. It is an honor to be a visual and performing arts teacher here in Carroll County. I came from Carroll County to be representing all of you and all of the teachers in the county means the world to me. I wish you all the best of luck. I hope I successfully replaced a video Carl would otherwise show. Um, and uh, thank you all, and hey, let's go do this. Have a great year, everyone.